Hey boys, welcome to another just real life discussion, and this is not a good discussion. This is a this is a sad day for. I mean, the the annoying thing is like it, it's sad for like Australian sport in general, but I mean, targeting obviously Australian cricket, which is everybody knows it by this point. Um, obviously the cheating by the Australian team in the South African series and. I'll, I'll touch on that um, more in a second, but honestly, this whole series against South Africa has been just an absolute farce. It's been an absolute joke. Like, honestly, the, it's like I, I haven't been able to watch like any of the actual cricket because obviously it's in South Africa um, and, you know, this and that. I, I haven't really watched any of it, but... Like, it seems like the, the actual cricket that's going on has been, like, very good. Like, it's been, <laughs> like, good cricket from both sides. But basically, none of the cricket has been talked about whatsoever. It's all been, obviously, before this point, it's all been been about the sledging. It's been about just the, the absolute carry-on from, from both sides. And I do think that both sides have gone a little bit over the top with like the sledging and and just carry on on the field and off the field I, I don't know what it is about this series because like you know you've got like the Ashes Australia England that's like the biggest rivalry you would say and there's obviously a lot of there's a lot of shit that goes on in those matches but it's never it's never escalated to to like levels of the Warner incident almost getting into a fight with the cock in walking up the tunnel and like you know Warner like getting into a stout with a crowd member um and just like it's I've never seen it escalate that far like in the modern era and I do think both sides have been I've gone too far now I the thing is with this though I've been so just frustrated with the fact Australia has been just honestly coming out and whinging about the sledging now before I get into that, I, I do feel that South Africa have gone to the extreme, and I think, you know, I, I don't think it's it's a good look, and I think it's a bit, yeah, I think it's a bit of a dog tactic, and it's a bit low to really bring family members into sledging and stuff like that, but honestly, honestly, how, how can, how can these guys carry on so much, especially David Warner, He's the worst of anyone. Now, who knows what they they really say to each other, like, on the field. <clears throat> it's all sorts. I mean, I, I you know, like I said, I feel like, you know, calling his wife a slut and uh, and carrying on about all that. I, I, think it's, I think it's a little too far, and I think that shouldn't happen. But I feel like the carry-on from Australia, coming out and having a whinge and all that, it just... It's just not a good look. I mean, I look at it as an Australian fan, and I'm like, Australia is a sledging nation. Now, I, I'm, I, I'm fine with that. But the thing I'm fine with is that if Australia sledges, you know, I know other team sledges. Like I know South Africa carry on. I know England. I know India. All the big nations, they all sledge. I, I know every other country's fans seem to think Australia is the worst, but they're all as bad as each other. But that's the point. They're all as bad as each other. You don't you don't come out and start whinging and carry on when the other team does it, because you know Australia, like I said, they're they're up there with the best of them, and especially Warner. Um, I don't know. It feels like South Africa. Obviously, it seemed like a plan coming in to really rile them up, and it seems to have worked. Um, so yeah, like that that whole aspect has been a joke. Like them just having a whinge and carrying on about all that. It. It's just silly, really. I do think the sledging has gone overboard, but just let the let the officials handle it. I mean, you don't need to come out and and talk about it all the time. And and David Warner needs to sort himself out, really. I mean, he he needs to control himself. He's playing cricket for Australia. Like, how hard is it to just not let little things like that get under your skin? I I, I can't understand it, but. You know, that, that's obviously the little issue here, but that was just my point about this whole series just being a joke. Like, nothing is really being about the cricket. It's all being about this crap. And to get on to the main point of this video, the cheating, which is just, 
disgraceful. Like, obviously, I'm an Australian fan, and I am I'm like totally disgraced and and embarrassed by the fact that they've resorted to it. Um, for one, I can't understand who in their right mind thought that they could get away with it. Like, how how moronic do all the players involved if in this have to be to even risk it? Like, I, I, I can't, I can't wrap my head around the fact that they thought they could get away with it. And that's just the fact they thought they could get away with it. The fact that they even, like, went to that extreme to begin with. And it obviously, like, I, I, I was listening to an interview and it, it is true, like, and it's a different, is it, if it's, it's a different category than your run of the mill. Like, there, there's been times where, I, I mean, a lot of, there's been countries in the past that have done it. Uh, there's been examples before where there's been sort of like tactics to do it. Um, but there's been other times where, you know, it's a bit of a, you know, on the fly thing, you know, someone might sort of, you know, rub the ball on the ground just quickly or something like that. And it's a different level to that because it was planned. It was like a set plan. And, you know, they came out and admitted that the leadership group was involved in it. And it was like their idea. (laughs) Fuck so ridiculous but it was like their idea to do it and i mean i i feel i'm half like feeling sorry and half like not feeling sorry for cameron bancroft because half of me is like well obviously he wasn't the one that came up to everyone and was like hey i've got a good idea here how about i do this and risk my whole career to potentially get some reverse swing like what like cameron bancroft is a batsman to start with, but also the fact he's just in the team, he's a young batter, and he's not even, like, set in the team, it's not like he's in there, and he's like, you know, there's competition, like, he's, he's a man under pressure to begin with, there is no way he would care that much about winning, like, he would be more worried about his own personal performance than devising a plan to, to tamper with the ball, so, it obviously as uh, my throat, Jesus, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is like clogging up, it's, uh, yeah, like, uh, Steve Smith came out and said that it was a leadership group, so I, I don't know who, <laughs> but the other half of me is like, I mean, Bancroft, like, he, 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 he did it, like, I mean, yeah, the pressure, I, I guess there was pressure on him, and, but he, he did it, like, he, he obviously put his hand up to, to do the act, so, part of me is like you're just a, you're just an idiot like you're just a straight up moron but um let's get into the fact that the leadership group now i know people are coming out and saying lehman i i obviously we don't know exactly who was involved they've come out and basically said the leadership group now i don't know who that involves either but you'd obviously say it's steve smith and warner to start with the captain and vice captain um, who else is involved in that? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like senior players. I mean, you'd probably throw in line in there. Um, who else? I mean, maybe, maybe Stark, <clears throat> even though he's not that, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to speculate who's in the leadership group, but I mean, safe to say two players, definitely David Warner and Stephen Smith. So they're the two cabs off the rank to start with. Um, so, again, like, what goes through your mind? It, it feels like this whole, like, lead up and just the, the frustrations boiling over from Australia. They've they've gone and done this, and it's just so stupid. Now, you also saw, now, the thing people are, like, carrying on about is the fact that what happened was, and I, I'll probably, <laughs> I'm not going to, like upload the clip i won't show the clip in this video just because i mean you can obviously probably everyone's already seen it and um if you haven't you can just look it up i mean um, it's everywhere so just look it up i'm, I'm just not gonna upload it because if i do i'll probably i don't know it's one of the um the right owners will probably like bloody copyright the video or some some nonsense for using the the little one minute clip or saying but um yeah like so what happens is you get seen on the big screen and then you see I think Lehman sends a message down to to um to Hanscom. All of a sudden Hanscom's on the field, he tells Bancroft, obviously, that they saw him, and Bancroft throws the bit of tape or whatever it was, 
uh, into his pants. <laughs> oh my god. Just saying is like, it's just so nonsense. Um, and people are like speculating that Lehman was involved as well. Now, the players have come out and said he wasn't involved. Uh, who knows? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Are they just saying that to cover his ass? I. I don't know, dude. It, you know, I, I can't really make accusations because you have no... You, know, you honestly have no idea. Um, sort of feel like he might, but at the end of the day, like, I'm sure the players could get together without Lehman being there. So, yeah, who knows, dude. But they obviously sent a message out that they saw him and it wasn't like the reactions of them were not like, what the hell is he doing? It was more like, oh, shit, we got found out. Um, so... You know those players involved. I mean, it's ridiculous that they're even, they're playing. They're they're playing in the rest of this game. They they should be gone. They should be gone. The players involved, like Bancroft, Warner, and Smith. Um, I mean Smith and Warner should obviously lose their captaincy and vice captaincy. I think they actually they did relinquish their um, captaincy, and now Tim Payne's the captain. So I'm I'm assuming Tim Payne wasn't in the leadership um, thing. So that that's you know, who knows, if, who knows who was actually involved, but, so Tim Payne's the captain now, uh, but Smith and Warner and Bancroft, they should be back home in Australia, and, like, I saw Vossi actually tweeted, like, they should be straight home, and they should just send three players to replace them, and that's, that's totally fair, like, who cares about the series at this point, I mean, the series, like I said at the start, the series was a joke, um, after all the nonsense, now, after the, the cheating that's going on, it's like, yeah, who cares? Who cares if you lose a series by this point? You know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You just gotta you gotta get rid of these blokes and bring in three players that uh, that can can perform, obviously. But the guys involved have to be sent home. Now, the thing is, is that I in the, in in the interview I was looking at, apparently the like the like I didn't know like what type of like penalty is for stuff like this and obviously everything is is different in terms of what um you know everything is a different sort of case but for do ball tampering it's not even like that much like apparently it's only like can be like a couple of game ban um but like i said before it was a different case you know it was a premeditated thing where you know it was like a it was a collective group sort of coming up with a plan i i personally think it shouldn't just be like the ICC hands down a punishment. Like Cricket Australia has to step in and like, you know, whatever the punishment is to begin with, they have to like make it like extend, like substantially more. I, the thing is like Australian cricket is very strong. You don't need play. Like who cares if David Warner and Steve Smith <clears throat> are gone from the game for, even if they're gone f for like good, honestly, I mean, There'll be players that can that can can, can perform at uh, at the highest level, regardless. And, and and cricket Australia need to show some show some backbone, honest honestly, and and get rid of these guys because there's obviously a problem there if they're coming up with these sort of ploys to um to cheat the game. So you know there has to be there has to be some strict consequences and. You know, there, there really has to be. Otherwise, it'll just be a joke because, like, it's such a big story. It's such a big thing. And they need to take very harsh action, action because of the thing that is just so frustrating is just the fact that <clears throat> now after all this, it's like everyone's coming out. Like, everyone that's non-Australian is coming out and acting like Australia has been cheats for, for years. I mean, everyone's coming out and acting like Australia has done this for years. And they, they, these idiots, these absolute morons, have tarnished like the whole Australian cricket team. They've tarnished all previous sort of accolades. They've tarnished their their accompli accomplishments. They've they've tarnished their whole careers from this because people people are are acting like they've they've done it their whole um, careers now and you know, and <clears throat> the thing is, is that the, it's obviously not, because the the point is, is that if people do cheat like this, it's very obvious, and you can pick it up, because there's so many cameras that 
these people that do stupid things like this get caught because there's so many cameras there's crowds taping it there's, there's cameras all around the ground they're gonna they're gonna pick up any little thing and it's gonna it's gonna get broadcast so they obviously haven't been doing it for for years and and stuff like that people are are acting like but they from these stupid actions they've they've tarnished that and they've they've tarnished the whole image of australian cricket and it's it's just it's just so disappointing it's so disappointing like i saw a, i saw a good tweet and it it's very true and it's like i can't remember exactly how it went but it was it was along the lines of you know you'd much rather lose a series like uh you know playing playing well or you know trying your hardest than than win a series knowing that you've you've cheated surely i i can't understand that you know obviously obviously as a fan you know myself and other fans you're going to be disappointed when your team loses a series but you get over it it's not it's not life or death i i, I can't i can't wrap my head around it it's it's so absurd to me that you would you would risk it for it and yeah i you know, there's not there's not much else to say really, uh, other than I really hope they they really do come down hard on. You know, Bancroft obviously, Steve Smith and David Warner, those three, uh, in particular. Then if there's any other, you know, leaders that were directly involved, because that's the other that's the other thing. Like I did mention it, that tarnishes the whole team, but it, it really does. Like you know. Because who the hell is in, involved in the leadership group, and who, who in this leadership group is actually involved in this? Like Steve Smith just comes out and says, "Yeah, the leadership group knew." Well, who the hell's in the leadership group? Like Steve Smith is literally throwing his whole team under the bus. Like I, <clears throat> that's even weaker, in my opinion. Like he should have come out and said who was actually involved. He he really should have come out and said who was actually involved because the fact that he didn't, it just makes everybody look bad, it makes, it makes every player in that team look guilty, and they're gonna have that on their, you know, name now, so, yeah, it's, it's disgraceful, I was, I could, I couldn't believe it, when I woke up this morning, the fact that that was the news, like, what, it's just absurd, it's just absurd, um, yeah, not much else to say, I, you know, leave your comments, well, what do you reckon, what, what do you reckon should happen to them, um, you know, obviously, I, th I feel like most people are going to be in agreement, but, yeah, if you have any other points, what, what do you think, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm gobsmacked, and I'm filthy at the, um, at the players involved, really, it's just a joke, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.